Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to integrate ln of cosine of x from 0 to pi over 2. Let's start calling this integral equal to i. And do u substitution. Let u be equal to pi over 2 minus x. If you solve for x in this equation, x is equal to pi over 2 minus u. Derivative of x is dx, and derivative of the right-hand side is negative du. Now, we are going to rewrite everything in terms of u. But just before that, we need to arrange the new boundaries. When x equals to 0, we would like to know the value of u, and when x equals to pi over 2, we would like to know the value of u. In this equation, when x equals to 0, u equals to pi over 2. And when x equals to pi over 2, u equals to 0. So our new boundaries are from pi over 2 to 0. Lower boundary, upper boundary. And we said that this integral is i. So we have ln of cosine of x, and we said that x is pi over 2 minus u. And instead of dx, we are going to write negative du. We can write du here and pull the negative sign in front. Now, we are going to negate the integral by switching the upper and lower boundaries. So our i is equal to from 0 to pi over 2. When you switch the lower and upper boundary, you multiply the integral by negative sign. ln of cosine of pi over 2 minus u du. Here we are going to use some indifference identities of trigonometry and we are going to find out that cosine of pi over 2 minus u equals to sine of u. We are going to use this identity. So cosine of pi over 2 minus u. Here our pi over 2 is a term and u is the b term. So what we have is cosine of a times cosine of b, which is cosine of pi over 2 times cosine of u, plus sine of pi over 2 times sine of u. Cosine of pi over 2 equals to 0 if we check on the unit circle. The x-coordinate of pi over 2 is 0. And sine of pi over 2 is 1. Here. 0 times anything is 0, so that cancels out, and 1 times sine of u is sine of u. So we have cosine of pi over 2 minus u is equal to sine of u. So instead of cosine of pi over 2 minus u, we can use sine of u. So our new integral, i, will be equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 ln of sine of u. Here, we can change the variable back, because this is a dummy variable, so we can use x back. So from 0 to pi over 2, ln of sine of x dx. It is the same thing. We just use different variables. So we can note here, i is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of x dx. Or i is equal to our original problem, which is integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of cosine of x dx. Now we are going to use this fact as well. Now we can rewrite our integral as 2i. We can double the i and we can write the right hand side as 
integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of x dx plus ln of cosine of x dx. We can rewrite like this because this is our i and this is our i as well. Now using the logarithmic fact like logarithm of a plus b is equal to ln of a times b. You can compact the summation in the product. Now our 2i is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of x times cosine of x dx. Here we're going to use double angle identity. So our double angle identity is sine of x times cosine of x is equal to one half sine of 2x using the double angle identity. So we can rewrite sine x times cosine of x as one half sine of 2x. So our 2i will be equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 ln of 1 half sine of 2x dx. Here we can separate the product as summation as we did above. So ln of a times b is equal to ln of a plus ln of b. This time what we are doing is reversing this here. We are expanding and compacting. Now we are going to expand. So our 2i will be equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 ln of 1 half plus ln of sine of 2x dx. Here this is a constant value that we can compute. Let's do that. So our 2i will be equal to ln of 1 half from 0 to pi over 2 plus integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of 2x. We can find this value. ln of 1 half is negative ln of 2. Again, if you have ln of a over b, that is equal to ln of a minus ln of b. In our case, we have ln of 1 half, which is going to be ln of 1 minus ln of 2. ln of 1 equals to 0, and 0 minus ln of 2 is negative ln of 2. So this value equals to negative ln of 2 from 0 to pi over 2. And that is equal to negative ln of 2 times pi over 2 minus 0. Using the fundamental theorem of calculus. So what we have is negative pi over 2 times ln of 2. So this value we found is this on the first term. And we said that it is 2i equals to this. Now we would like to solve this integral here from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of 2x dx. Again, we are going to apply u substitution. Let u be equal to 2x. And if you solve for x here, then x will be 1 half u. Derivative of x is dx, and derivative of 1 half u is 1 half du. Now we're going to write everything in terms of u, but just before that, we need to find the new boundaries. When x equals to 0, which is our lower boundary, we would like to know what the u is. And when x equals to pi over 2, which is our upper boundary, we would like to know what the u is. When x is 0 in this equation, u is 0. When x equals to pi over 2, u equals to pi here. 
So our new integral is 2i negative pi over 2 ln of 2, what we have, plus our new integral is from 0 to pi of ln of sine of u. Instead of the x, we have du times 1 half. Now we can change the variable here. Instead of u, we can use variable x. So our 2i equals to negative pi over 2 ln of 2 plus 1 half integral from 0 to pi ln of sine of x dx. Now we can separate this integral from 0 to pi over 2 plus pi over 2 to pi. So what we are doing is we are separating this integral from 0 to pi over 2 and from pi over 2 to pi. So 2i equals to negative pi over 2 ln of 2 plus 1 half integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of x dx plus integral from pi over 2 to pi of ln of sine of x dx. We know that this integral equals to i as we have written above here. We said that integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of x dx is equal to i. Similarly, from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of cosine of x dx is also i. So instead of this integral, we use i. Now, what we have is 2i equals to negative pi over 2 ln of 2 plus 1 half i plus this integral. 1 half integral from pi over 2 to pi of ln of sine of x dx. we will do one more u substitution. Let u be equal to pi over 2 plus x. Then if you solve for x here, x is equal to pi over 2 plus u. If you take the derivative of x, it's going to be the x. And if you take the derivative of this part, then it's going to be du. Now we can write everything in terms of u. Our new boundaries will be when x equals to our lower boundary pi over 2, we would like to know what the u is. And when x equals to our upper boundary pi, we would like to know what the value of u is. In this equation, when x equals to pi over 2, u equals to 0. And when x equals to pi, u equals to pi over 2. So our new boundaries from 0 to pi over 2. Let's rewrite everything. 2i equals to negative pi over 2 ln of 2 plus 1 half i plus 1 half integral from 0 to pi over 2 of ln of sine of instead of x we have pi over 2 plus u du again using different sum trigonometric identities sine of pi over 2 minus x or plus x will be equal to cosine of x So using the same logic, our ln of sine of pi over 2 plus u is equal to ln of cosine of u. If you plug in this in your sum difference formula, calling this a and calling this b, you obtain cosine of u. So we can rewrite this part of the integral as ln of cosine of u and change the variable to the x. 
so let's do two step at a one so negative pi over 2 ln of 2 plus 1 half i plus integral from we have 1 half here 0 to pi over 2 ln of cosine of x dx and we said that ln of cosine of x dx from 0 to pi over 2 equals to i here this is what we said now we know that this integral is also i so 2i equals to negative pi over 2 ln of 2 plus 1 half i plus 1 half i so this together makes just i half plus half is one full i and if you subtract i on both sides you get 2i minus i equals to negative pi over 2 ln of 2 and so this is the value of i so now we know the solution of our integral which is negative pi over 2 times ln of 2 so instead of i we can write negative pi over 2 ln of 2 and if you would like to know exact value you can use your calculator because this is just a constant value thank you for watching this video see you at the next one